purse. No, 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 no. I lost my purse. Are you in? Do you do? He's like. Look at light on point of We made it here to the, I believe it's, this is the Marriott Beachside Resort. Don't quote me on that, guys. I'm not sure what the name of this hotel is. Hotel is. I forgot already. But this is where everybody is. Not, this is where everybody is staying. Most of the people are staying. And look, they even have the KR tent over there. So we're going to be waiting, waiting around for a little bit until everybody decides to show up. Maybe we can beach you somewhere, I'm not sure. But this is the one that I love the most. Uh, think Danny's boat? The Scarab or? Oh, Danny. Yeah. Why not? I you know, I just love the, sim the sim simplicity and the low cost. You know, it's like a big Paramount. It, exactly. It's a big Paramount. I thought it was a power play. It's a scary one. It's a Looks like a power play. Oh, yes. It's so just nice. completely restored and all the new bowstring, new motors, new rigging, everything. It's 32, right? Yet, oh, you guys did the rigging? No, nah, Ray did it, but he was up so like five, literally at five a.m. He was at the shop yesterday. Oh, what do you mean? Don't look at, don't look at the rigging. The rigging looks no, down, down in the console. Under the console. Oh, right? bro, come on, bro, it's a boat. Brand new 2021 Hellcat. I love those seats, bro. Damn, carbon fiber in the rear seats. Good job. Very good job. How much do these things sell for? This one? Or how much does a normal Hellcat like this sell for? I'm not sure, uh, not 100% sure, but I think it's going to be somewhere in the 250 to 350 range. With the 300s? Uh, with the 300s, I think it should be like 250k. 250. And what speed is this boat getting, do you know? Uh, he's, it's only been on the water, literally it was in the water for 40 minutes yesterday. He first did, time? He did, he did a couple passes, first pass he made, he almost blew it over. Over trimmed and the boat started going up, going up, going up, and he let off right on time. But did he tell you to speak? Oh, it, it should do 112 to 116 if it competes with things like the Doug right 32s and things like that. With 300 R's, that's what they're running. So what 115? 115, 116. And he's still prop testing, I'm assuming. Or? Yeah, he just threw on some 33s. Right now, I should run 108 to 110 all day. Still feel fastest one here today, right? Uh, uh Donzi, no, maybe. Well, here in this. Everybody started to show up. And I gotta show you guys, I've never seen this boat. Look at this thing. What? I've never seen that boat! I 
I've never seen something like this. This style. It's the only one. What is that? 1075? 600? Okay. It has a head cut and everything. It's jamming out to the music of the head This is the sexiest sea craft in all of South Florida. I don't care what you say. Twin 250s, 23 feet, completely redone, no T-top, engines on a bracket, with jack plates. When I saw this boat in pictures, I fell in love, to be honest. There we go, guys, I think we're taking off. You know, I gotta be one of the first ones to get the best footage, I'm the slowest guy, so, let's go. Cowboys! Cowboys! Kind gentleman, he stopped. He has a nice little donzy. But <laughs> you know, guys, it's part of boating. Part of boating. My my power steering line snapped. You see all this? It's covered. So eventually, it's gonna come to a point that I'm not gonna have any steering whatsoever. So I gotta head back now. Oh, that's a cool. That's a cool spot right there. Look at the helicopter flying. I think the skaters are going to do another little pass from here. Eventually, there's gonna come a point that I'm not gonna have any, I'm not gonna have any uh, power steering, and I'm just gonna be, I can't turn. So, stay tuned, we're gonna see what happens. It's part of boating, I'm not even mad, I'm not even. This is what it is, guys. So, make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, drop a like, I really appreciate it. Share it to all your friends. I wish I can give you guys the full run, but it ain't happening. So, we're idling back. I don't want to put too much load on the engine. I don't want the boat to go sideways. I lost it. No, 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 no. I lost my power steering. We lost our power steering. The hole right here is fitting. I turned this center console engine into a tiller real quick. We're about five miles out. So we're islanding the whole way back. Thank God it's raining in the day, and I don't have to worry that much, but I'm a little nervous. Not too much, but I can see that. And there was any shallow coming my way, so. And I feel like I'm in a sailboat. This is the speed that sailboats go. Easy going. Man, I gotta give it to you guys. 
mission of parking. Now we're gonna see how good our skills are. Not having any power any power steering or parking. Teamwork. We all teamwork. You guys listen to what, I, what I'm gonna say, all right? Wait, 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 stop. Lower down the RPMs a little bit, put in neutral, neutral, neutral. Back, back, you hear a click, Work. there, see? Put in reverse, reverse. Which is? We're back. Uh -huh. Not as smooth as I wanted, but we got it. This is what it is, guys. This is part of boating. You know, things break. And I think you guys have caught on with that with all my videos. Something's always breaking when we go on another one. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Definitely hot. So that, that parking wasn't the cleanest parking ever, but due to the circumstances of not having power steering i don't think it was too bad tied her up same setup i had last night Ooh, this floor is hot this floor is hot so tied her up put my spring line on make sure my engine doesn't hit the cowling i'm gonna take her out the water i could fix her today i could go to the auto parts store and rig something up but i don't want to show you guys that part of that side of me i will just take her home get it done right come back another day and now since i gotta fix this i'm just gonna go through everything maintenance wise I'm, I'm still not going to strip her down yet because the plan for this boat is to put on a bracket, build the back seat, raise up the transom. That is the plan for this boat, but we're going to do that maybe in November. After the whole summer is done, we can enjoy the boat because the boat's running perfectly. The cracks are not increasing. I have the, the cracks all marked up and it hasn't passed the crack. So transom is good. Um, hey guys, I know you guys enjoy this the footage that I had earlier, so make sure to drop a like share it to your friends if you're not subscribed please subscribe and we're just gonna go hang out in the rv i want to get out of the sun to be honest with you the water is amazing but it is what it is i might throw myself in the pool in a little bit 
You ready to go, babe? Ready to go. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh. Come on, baby, you got this. Hey, the housekeeping, housekeeping didn't come. No? No. Aww. Gotta call her up front desk. I need some housekeeping. All I want to do is just take a quick shower and relax in a nice cold RV while I edit this video that you guys are watching. But first, let's go take a quick shower. Thankfully, it's like right there. So it worked out well. It's like an elementary school bathroom. Okay. It has really hot water. That felt refreshing. So, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I'm gonna make a part three to today. I don't want to. I don't want to make this video super long and boring for most of you guys. So, if you're interested in the uh, in the RV part of this weekend, make sure to stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna give you guys a full walking tour. Maybe talk to some people, and I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But this video is over. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys are subscribed. Drop a like, share it to all your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one.